Hi guys, Jamie Lee Media here. So yesterday I went into the pop-up gallery on Victoria Road in New Brighton. I had a nice conversation with Richard, the person who set it all up. Here he explains what he does, who he is, and yeah, all about his art and his books. So enjoy. So if you want to start by introducing yourself. Yes, of course. My name is Richard Jackson and I'm the director of the Devil's Nest Company Limited and I'm responsible for putting on this exhibition of photographs of Merseyside and Liverpool and New Brighton. So why did you pick New Brighton for the exhibition? This is the, the third exhibition that we've had in New Brighton, um, thanks to Daniel Davis at Rock Point Leisure. Uh, this building has been empty for, uh, for about five or six years and he wanted to open it up again to bring some life into the area of Victoria Quarter, which is in Victoria Road. Um, and I'd done some work with him with the James Atherton pub um, some of the photographs from my collection are on permanent display in there. We felt it was a good opportunity to put a more extensive exhibition of images on display um, featuring a, a wider variety of, of images that we've got available to us. Are the photos that you've like touched up and stuff like that or ones that you've taken to? The photographs have all been scanned from either an original negative or an archive print, so the quality of them is absolutely phenomenal. The, they've, you, you may have seen them elsewhere, but I, I promise you, you've never seen them at this quality, simply because the, the technology hasn't existed up until this point to be able to, to produce them at this standard. Some of the photographs date from the 1800s, the late 1800s, um, and many are from glass negatives. Um, so over 130 years you'd expect a bit of damage, a bit of dirt to accumulate. Uh, but generally speaking they're not too bad, they've actually been kept in fairly decent condition. Um, despite that there's obviously some work to be done. Um, just correcting little bits and pieces, just to clean them up to produce the best quality that you can possibly get to. Um, nothing's been changed, nothing's been added, it's just put back to the way the photos should be, should be seen. I've noticed you've got a few books on display with your name on. Um, do you want to talk us through some of them? Yes, of course. Um, we've done a, a, a wide variety of, of books. Um, most recently, um, for our Merseyside in Focus exhibition, um, is, is this, this latest book. Um, every photograph in the exhibition and another 50 are actually printed in this book. Um, and it's the same files that were used to make the prints on the walls that go into the book. So there's absolutely no difference. Their print quality is just as, just as good. Um, and they're all there. So if you do come to the exhibition and you enjoy seeing the pictures, um, they're in there. Um, we had our previous photographic exhibition, which was Old Wallacey. Um, we had a, another book printed for that. And so if you missed that one, all the photos are in there. Um, and we've also done various other history books about the history of slavery in Liverpool. We've got some rather wonderful reproductions of hard to find and rare and expensive Liverpool history books. This is from 1773, so it's nearly 250 years old. Um, but you can't get an original. And we thought that history, like photography, it should be accessible. And the Devil's Nest, as a company, is committed to making things like this accessible and affordable to people. Um, so by doing reproductions and by reprinting books and um, reprinting photographs and getting them out there to a wider audience, we th feel it's, it's important to do. It keeps history alive and keeps the interest in the local area going as well. So for local people who'd like to come and see the exhibition, where are we and what times can they come? So the exhibition Merseyside in Focus is open every day, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. until the 31st of July 2021. And we are in the old bank on Victoria Road, which is just opposite the old supermarket, next door to the hairdressers and the bait shop. Um, but there's plenty of other things to see in Victoria Road as well. Um, don't forget the Oakland Gallery, which has got a, a new um, exhibition by the, the artist Insa. So that's open now as well. And there's Rock Point Records, where you can get a great cup of tea, or the James Atherton, where you can get a great pint, and Habibi. But it's, we're just part of a bigger entity. Uh, so it's, it's 
Victoria Quarter, and we're very, very lucky to be to be part of that. Um, but so there's plenty to do, as well as the the new the new street art map, which has just come out, um, and we are in here. If you see the pop-up gallery, it's on the map, quite literally. For people who aren't local, is there a way they can see your work or order your books or anything like that? If you visit our website, www.devilsnest.co.uk, our books are available on there. Apart from the Merseyside in Focus book, which is currently exclusive to the gallery shop, but afterwards we will be making that available online. A lot of the artwork that's been going up around here has been a bit controversial. Some people have loved it, some have hated it. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the whole redevelopment of the area? I think that the street art that's gone up has been instrumental in the redevelopment and the rejuvenation and regeneration of the Victoria Quarter. I think without it, it would have been a, a, just another collection of shops um, that it's like, yeah, okay, fine, another collection of shops. But to be able to add and have a, a free open air street art gallery that I know for a fact has attracted people from all over the country. I know that because I've spoken to lots and lots of people. I think it's phenomenal. Potentially, each piece of work isn't necessary to everyone's taste. It's not to mine. However, I do appreciate the skill and talent that's gone into producing every single one of them. You know, I like more some than others, obviously, but every single piece, every artist is absolutely top of their game and they've worked extremely hard to do each piece and I think they're all fantastic from that point of view. It's probably like asking you to pick your favourite kid, but is there a favourite piece here today? Gosh, trying to choose a favourite photograph. I mean, I'm slightly biased by that one because I took it. Um, oh, gosh, there are quite, there are a few. I mean, the obvious answer would be the aerial photograph because it's the cover of the book. Um, but the black and white night photograph of the cathedral is rather stunning. The panorama of the Strand, which is composed of six separate photographs all stitched together. Ah, oh, the cathedrals, the... Oh, there's the aerial photograph <laughs> of New Brighton. Honestly, there, oh. isn't, there isn't a favourite. They're all wonderful. They're, there's none better than the other, they're just different. And I think, that, I think that's one of the reasons why I love doing what I do, is because you're never, you're never exposed to the same thing twice. And if you are, for whatever reason, it's always interesting. If you are able to find, um, if you're able to find a an original negative from a print that you've previously scanned, you're going to get so much more information, um, and it's it's absolutely wonderful, and it's so exciting to find more information about a picture or a better quality one, and that's what I'm doing here, presenting pictures at the highest quality for people to enjoy, and I really do hope that people do come and they do enjoy these pictures because it's. It's taken a lot of work to get to this point, and I'm very proud of it. Um, and I, I just like to be able to share it with as many people as possible. It's, yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant to see art so accessible as well. Um, and so it's free as well. Exactly. Yeah. It's wonderful. Everyone local should come and have a little look. It, yeah. Um, so thank you very much for your time. No, thank you. Thank you for coming. And I shall be back. Have you got any more exhibitions coming here? We have an idea for at least another two. Okay, not exactly okay. sure when. Um, so I'm not going to say not on camera exactly when. I'm not going to pin myself down on that one. But we have we have some planned. Um, so watch this space. Definitely. Social media. Um, we'll try and get it in the newspapers and on the radio. And posters on the walls and around. And leaflets as well. So, so keep your eyes peeled. Absolutely keep your eyes peeled, <laughs> yes. Perfect, thank you. Thank you very much.